We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another vintage collection figure review. We've got VC294. It is the HK87 Assassin Droid. Um, yeah, this one's pretty cool. I uh, hesitated a little bit with this one. Um, I decided to pick at least one up uh, to open. Um, not sure whether I'll get any extras. Um, the only real sort of, the main sort of selling point is the fact that it comes with a spear, which the Black Series one doesn't. So it's already automatically got an advantage there. Um, just the overall paint apps and deco looks a little bit better than the Black Series one. So the Black Series one is one I will skip. Um, I've got two of the original HK87s and I'm cool with that. I don't need the, the red one. So I decided to pick it up in the smaller scale. I think it'll look cool. Um, who knows? May, maybe if I find another one later on, I may get a second. But I like the uh, I like the artwork on the card. It looks pretty good. See from the Ahsoka series. Some other figures in the wave. Have reviewed pretty much most of these to a certain degree. Moff J. Jared, I've just picked him up as well, so that review will be coming up at some point in the next week or so. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, without further ado, let's bust open this one and have a look. Alright folks, here is HK87. Uh, straight out of the packaging, this isn't the easiest one to stand up. <laughs> as you can imagine, like a lot of these sort of smaller figures, uh, quite sort of slender, petite... Um, Great looking sculpt, but yeah, the, the, just the, the weight of it, there's not a lot of weight to this figure, um, which, you know, that's not necessarily a, a criticism. Um, it's, it's just what it is. It's a representation of the character in this size. Um, therefore, it doesn't need as much plastic as some other figures might. But yeah, his, his looks pretty good. Um, the articulation seems to be good. We'll go through that shortly. The soft goods of the... Uh, sort of cape there looks all right easily removable so we'll just move that aside while we while we look at the figure uh, accessories does come with this uh, blaster here this is more of a separatist battle droid blaster <clears throat> and then the uh spear pike which looks cool We'll get a look at the figure up close. You know, again, there's some subtle sort of weathering and detail on it. Um, and they have actually painted the visor, which is one thing the... Uh, I haven't had a good look at the Black Series one, but it seemed like just the red visor sort of blended in with the red plastic too much. Whereas this one, the plastic is sort of... It's got a nice sort of matte look to it. Um, so the gloss of the visor definitely pops a bit more on this one, which is nice. So I'm liking the sort of, this was some more weathering details throughout the figure, which is nice. It looks good. Sort of scrapes and dents and chips and stuff like that. The sculpt is really, really nice. And we do have a little little thing here on the back which looks like the blaster may may does <laughs> sort of clips in there so that's cool I didn't I wasn't aware of that as as a feature on this one so that's cool I like that that sort of just sit, fits in there very nicely snug that's not going anywhere so that's a good place to keep that Just looking through at all the little intricacies, which is nice. Uh, Articulation-wise, I suppose, we'll go through that. There's a double, double bar barbell ball joint there, which is good. They could have probably got away, got away with a, just a single sort of ball socket there, but that works. Uh, hinge at the shoulder there and that piece up there is a separate piece 
they sort of do that with the black series where you get a sort of a loop within the joint so that allows that to be sort of its own separate piece for allowing that movement up and down which is good this wants to move with it so that's cool hinges at the elbows again being such small joints you want to make sure you make sure they're going to move okay before you start going gung-ho and spinning them around uh, looks to only be swivels in in the wrist there so that's quite quite a simple one to pop out again that's quite quite a slender little little part there so you're not going to get any much more articulation than that uh, in the thighs here these look to be sort of the barbell joints the sort of that t-bar look could yeah almost bar and ball and socket there but they seem to get a lot of movement there there's an upper thigh swivel there there's a knee joint there's an ankle joint and I went past it, but there is sort of an upper torso sort of crunch through there and a swivel at the waist as well. So pretty dynamic in terms of its articulation. Great looking paint apps. Let's do the peg test. So good, not great. This guy is going to need, need a, a peg stand. So, um, yeah, I'll be having to get a stand and maybe trim down the pegs just a little bit, just so it sits nice and flush on it. But let's go and put this soft goods back on. Yeah, the soft goods are really well made, actually. That's definitely a highlight of this figure. That sort of iconic scene from the first episode of Ahsoka where you see one of these just sort of just standing there very sort of samurai-esque good so that's a nice figure man I, I, I dig this one not sure whether I'd grab a second maybe if they do a you know a color variation I might I dare say that's one they could probably easily do. There were quite a few colour variations, particularly in the Ahsoka series. But yeah, I think I think one one of these is good for me, for the moment. Um, like I said, colour variations could sway me in the future, but we'll see. Love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down in the comments below. Would very much appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. One of those. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd love to love to have your support. Thanks everyone else for your support. It does mean a lot to me. And uh, yeah, we'll see if some more reviews very soon. Like I said, he's hot. It's a tough cookie to stand out. This one. You might need to use the staff to sort of help support. Just want to stand him up so I can finish the video. There we go. Oh. All right, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Till the next one. May the force be with you always.